In this video, we will do a frequency analysis of a maximum discharges of a river using the Gumball distribution. At the end of the video, we will build an equation with which we can obtain a design flow for any return period. To carry out the analysis, we had to have the historical record of maximum annual flows of the river. In this column, we have the year, and in this column, we have the annual maximum flow in cubic feet per second. Well, the first thing we will do is copy and paste this data. in the column of empirical curve. Now we have to order from largest to smallest. Okay. In the column of rank M, we will place the numbers from one to M. One, two, three, four, five. We have fifty one years. N, N is equal to fifty one. N is the number of observations. Now we are going to calculate the probability of non accidents with this equation equal to 1 minus m minus 0.44 between the number of observations We we'll have 51 plus 0.12. We just drag the formula. In this column, we are going to calculate the y of Gumball with this equation equal to minus natural logarithm of minus natural logarithm again of f f is the probability of non accidents and just we drag the formula We will do the adjustments by the method of least squares. So we need to calculate the average x is equal to average of the x. The x is the empirical curve. And we have to calculate the average y is equal average the average of y of Gumball and we need to calculate a and b parameters of Gumball A equal to the covariance of Y of Gumball
and the edge of empirical curve. between the variance of the Y of Campbell and the B parameter is equal to the average at minus the parameter A multiplied by the average of Y of Gamble. Now yes, we will calculate the Gamble values using the formula, using this equation by the method of least squares is equal to a multiplied by y of gamble plus b b we are going to fit these cells using the dollar sign the cells of a and b parameters And just we can draw the formula. Now we are going to graph the gumball values. Copy the probability of non accidents and paste. We need the empirical curve and the gamble values. Copy the empirical curve and paste. These points are the empirical curve. We have the probability of non accidents and the flood discharge. And now copy the gamble values. And paste. As you can see, the gamble values fit the empirical curve very well. To see the adjustment. Quantitatively, we are going to calculate the linear correlation coefficient. R. Correlation. The, the empirical curve. And the gamble values the linear correlation coefficient is equal to point nine seven thirty three. This coefficient so near of one just show a pretty good correlation and here on the right we have the equation to the gamble values and we and we are going to substitute in data the et is the flood discharge equal to a Remember 
the parameter a multiply by minus natural logarithm of of minus natural logarithm again of 1 minus 1 over lambda return period lambda is equal to 1 plus b the parameter b And now as a result, we have a column of return period in years. We are going to calculate the probability of exceedance is equal to 1 between the return period. And this column, the flood in Cubic feet per second, it will be equal to A multiplied by minus natural logarithm of minus natural logarithm again of plus of one minus one over the return period plus b and just we drag the formula that means for example for a return period of 50 years the design flow it will be equal to 99,963.59 cubic feet per second. Well, we have finished. If you like it, subscribe and give the like.